Good afternoon. Here's what we have in the news today. Policeman fined sentenced to two years in prison for drug trafficking. Teen girl charged with brother's murder in Westmoreland. PNP condemns murder of esteemed journalist Job Nelson. Calls for swift justice. And sergeant at halfway tree police station dies while on duty. Details coming up right after this break. A police corporal who was convicted of drug trafficking before the Manchester Parish was on Wednesday sentenced to two years in prison and fined $5 million. The court ruled that Corporal Jermaine Powell will have to serve an additional 54 months in prison if he fails to pay the fine. The sentence was handed down yesterday following a lengthy trial. The policeman was fined $1 million dollars or six months for the offense of possession of cocaine. He was also fined $1 million or six months for dealing in cocaine, $2 million or six months in prison for trafficking in cocaine, $1 million for possession of criminal property, and $1 million for offense of conspiracy. Corporal Powell was also slapped with a mandatory sentence of 26 months in prison. The state also wants to seize his assets. A request was made by the Asset Recovery Agency to forfeit under Section 52 under Proceeds of Crime Act for pecuniary orders to be made. Prosecutors had reported that on Friday, November 9th, 2018, about 4.20 p.m., a thief of team of police personnel from the narcotics division assisted by personnel from the porous police station conducted anti-narcotics operations along the porous main road in manchester when a white toyota pro box motor car driven by corporal powell was signaled to stop he complied and during a search of the vehicle more than five pounds of cocaine and 1.2 million Dollars cash were found concealed between the spare wheel and the body of the vehicle. Corporal Powell was found guilty before the Manchester Parish Court in October 12, 2023. Investigators in Westmoreland have charged a 17-year-old girl with the murder of her brother, Alwyn Beckford. The teenager was charged following a question and answer session over the weekend. She's the third person to be charged with Mr. Beckford's murder. Her 24-year-old sister, Sharika Dennis, and stepfather, 62-year-old Royston Dennis, have been charged in the matter. According to the Westmoreland Police, on May 13, Mr. Bedford was at home with his fiancée when an argument developed between him and one of his sisters. During the argument, it is alleged that the three family members began hurling stones at him. One of the stones hit Mr. Beckford on the left side of his head. Mr. Beckford collapsed and was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. The People's National Party says it stands in profound grief and outrage over the tragic murder of Job Nelson, a respected journalist from the Jamaica Gleaner, who was fatally shot on Spanish Town Road on Tuesday. It is reported that Nelson was shot at the bumper hall traffic light about 10.53 p.m. while he waited for the light to change. He drove from the scene but lost control of the vehicle on Carly Smith's drive where it crashed. Nelson was taken to the hospital by passerby with a bullet wound in the left side of his chest and he died while undergoing treatment. 
In a statement late Wednesday night, the PNP said, We extend our deepest condolences to his family, friends, and colleagues during his incredible, in this incredibly difficult time. Job Nelson, age 53, was a cherished member of the media community who went to the extra mile in pursuit of truth. His unwavering commitment to journalism and his courageous efforts have left an indelible mark on our nation. His dedication, diligence, and reliability were evidenced in his significant contribution across the Gleaner and Star publications as well as various other media outlets over his 35 years of service, the party continued. Describing his murder as a senseless act of violence, the opposition said his death has left a profound void in the journalism community, adding that his untimely death is a profound loss. The party urged the authorities to conduct a swift and thorough investigation into his murder, noting that it is imperative that the perpetrators of his heinous act are swiftly brought to justice. The PNP urged all citizens to stand together in condemning this brutal act and to support efforts to uphold justice and protect the invaluable role of the media in the society. The party reaffirmed its commitment to defend the rights and safety of journalists and to ensure that the nation remains a place where freedom of expression and the, ex the pursuit of truth are cherished and protected. Job Nelson will be remembered for his professional expertise, his kind and affable demeanor, and his ever-present smile, his passion for journalism, and his commitment to delivering quality news will be greatly missed. In this time of mourning, let us honor his legacy, the PNP said. Are you tired of browsing all over the latest happenings in Jamaica? Discover it right here on Jamaica News Online TV YouTube channel. Foreigner home and you want to be in touch with the happenings in Jamaica? Guess what? You are in the right place. We bring you reactions to the latest news at 6 a.m., 12 noon, and straight up news at 6 p.m. Ask and you shall receive, guys. So if you are watching this video, like, subscribe, comment, or share. Hit that subscribe button and remember to comment below with your thoughts. Guys, make sure you come back again and again to watch our videos. Remember, 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. We are always here to give you. A police sergeant at the halfway tree police station in St. Andrew passed away yesterday night while on duty at the station. He has been identified as Christopher Gordon. It is reported that Gordon complained about being tired and went to an area to rest. Soon after, someone called him and got no answer, and when they checked on him, he was unresponsive. They rushed him to the hospital, and death was confirmed. The colleague said they knew him to be a healthy and vibrant individual. The news of Gordon's passing was disclosed by chaplain of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, Assistant Commissioner of Police Gary Badu Fletcher this morning at the ongoing annual joint conference of the Jamaica Police Federation in St. James. He disclosed that grief counseling is being provided at the station. A moment of silence was observed for the passing of the policeman.
guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like share and comment down below